to another Tutorial Tuesday. I'm Holly, the Twister Sister, and today is the day before Halloween, and so we gotta do something for that. So I'm gonna show you how to make a skeleton today. For this design, you're only gonna need three white balloons, or whatever color skeleton you wanna make, and I've blown them all up about the same amount, leaving about a three inch tail. So I'm just gonna grab one of those white balloons, and we're gonna start off with the body of our skeleton man. We're gonna need two pinch twists right at the very beginning. So those are just small round bubbles. You grab the knot and twist it around your twist. So you got one, and then we'll do another one right beside there. So we're gonna have two pinch twists, just like that, okay? You guys can see that. And then you're gonna come down just a little bit. Just make a small round bubble right there. And then we're gonna do two loops, and you don't want these loops to be too big, okay? So just hold your balloon over about a hand's length, maybe less. And do a twist there, and another one the same size right beside it just like that and now we're gonna do a tiny 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 bubble right underneath there just a little bit of a spacer bubble and we're gonna do two more loops the same size as these first two right here hold that twist hold and twist and then you want to arrange everything so it's nice and flat in a straight line like this. These pinch twists up on top, they're gonna be facing this way. So front to back, okay? And now we're gonna come down just a little bit, maybe about an inch or two. Your balloon's probably starting to get a little tight, but that's okay. We're gonna put a small pinch twist right here. One pinch twist. And then come out to the end of your balloon, whatever you've got left, we're gonna twist off a small round bubble. And you're gonna bring your bubble up to the pinch twist to make a big loop. So we're gonna twist that together. And then arrange everything so it's facing forward just like this. So that is going to be the body of our skeleton. Next, I like to do the arms, so you can really see it starting to come together. And we're gonna do a small round bubble, and then just a loop for a hand. Kind of the standard balloon hands. Okay, and then I wanna make this a little bit extra special, so I'm gonna show you two different versions, no premium version on this week. Um, but we're gonna squeeze our balloon out, and then I'm gonna just make a twist here where the elbow would be and then another twist up here at the shoulder. And I'm gonna just let that go. It's gonna come undone, but that's okay. We've made it nice and soft so that we can retwist it again when we need to. We're gonna put a big pinch twist right here at the shoulder. Like that. So we've got one arm. And then you're gonna come over about an inch and a half. And grab your body, and this is the top, this is the bottom, okay, don't get it confused. You're going to take this twist we just made, and we're going to lock it into our two pinch twists on top. I just go around once. You don't need to over twist things. Like that. Okay, see where we're going now? And we're gonna do the same thing coming down the other side here, just like this. So we're gonna come out about an inch and a half, just so the shoulders are like right past the ribs. And we're gonna do a big pinch twist and another arm. So I'm gonna make a twist, another twist where the hand's gonna be. And then this one's probably just gonna go, which is fine. And we're gonna do another hand now. If you time this or space this all out perfectly, you won't have to cut off anything. So if you make the arms a little bit longer, or maybe these bubbles here at the shoulder a little bit longer, then you'll have just enough balloon left for a little thumb. But um, I've got just an inch or so too much. So I'm gonna make a hole in the end of my bubble, my balloon. Just deflate it so I just have a small bubble left. 
And I'm just going to wrap that tail around my hand. Time. So that way I don't have to try to tie off that little tiny tail that's left on there. Okay, so get this all situated. And that's what we've got now. So I've turned my top pinch twist so that they're vertical on the front and the back. And that kind of helps hold everything in place better. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do his legs. So grab your last white 260. And the legs are really just like the arms. So you just want to make the feet a little bit bigger than the hands. Um, so we're just going to do a small round bubble and then a bigger loop in the hands, just slightly bigger for a foot. Okay. And then the same thing with the arms. We're going to make a twist where the knee would be. And then a twist at the hip. And then that one's going to go. We're going to do a pinch twist. Now the only difference between the legs and the arms is we're going to take the rest of our balloon here and we're going to slide it through our loop at the bottom of the body. Just like that. Okay, so it's just slid on through there. And we're going to come out the other side. I guess that would be like his pelvis. <laughs> Make a twist. So it's about the same uh, distance as this. And do another pinch twist. And then we're just going to go down for the other leg. Same thing. Make a little twist where the knee is going to be. And then twist here at the ankle. And then with the rest of this balloon, we've spaced everything out perfectly. So this can just be his foot. And we don't have to cut or tie anything, which is perfect for line work. Okay, so three balloons. Not bad at all for line work. Uh, definitely a quick restaurant or party balloon. Just like that. And then you just need to grab a head. So I'm going to reach here into my balloon closet. I'm giving you a little sneak peek of my balloon storage there. Um, you can get these five inch round printed balloon heads. It comes in a mixed bag of skeletons, pumpkin faces, and vampire faces, I think, or is it Frankenstein? I'm not sure. But it's got a nice little skull design on the balloon so you don't have to draw anything. And we're just going to wrap that into this top two pinch twist. There you go. Some of these are kind of printed like this but <laughs> it's all good he's got personality <laughs> okay so that is a really quick skeleton just like that and you really don't need to even draw bones on it like a lot of people do because this says skeleton good enough with the rib cage and everything um if you want to add some artwork on the arms and the legs and stuff some bones that's really cute but i want to show you we're going to take this up a notch this is a freebie for you guys this week since it's a holiday. Um, we're actually going to turn this skeleton into something that's really cool and sort of interactive. And you just need, let's set this guy back here with my balloon dog family. I've got a whole family of balloon dogs for my husband, myself, my daughter, and my baby boy. Isn't that cute? <laughs> So back on topic, and then when you've wrapped it around a bunch, you're going to do a double knot. I don't know how other people do their knots, but this is how I do mine. You want to pull it nice and tight so it holds that twist. And then you're going to, and then you're going to cut off the tails. Dun dun. And now you've got a skeleton that is going to dance. So we're going to do that to all the knees and elbows. I'm going to come out to the other arm, twist around a few times, grab one of my little scrap pieces, wrap it around, wrap it around, wrap it around. Do a nice tight knot, a double knot, and cut off the extra bits. Same thing for the legs. We're going to do a twist for the knee. Go around a few times. Grab a scrap. Wrap it around and around and around and around. Double knot. Alright, last one. Get my scrap ready. 
Daddy twist his knee around. I just around and around and around and around and around. Now you have a skeleton that really is like, has the movement that you normally see with skeletons, you know, because that's like a real thing. But <laughs> um, it's kind of fun to, you know, just play with the positioning of all his parts and pieces and get his legs facing out, facing in, um, and have them waving. And stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> So this is something that is like, wow, you really don't need to draw any artwork or any bones or anything on here um, because this is like 100% the scream skeleton. Ah! <laughs> stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> so that is the skeleton guy for today, but I also wanted to show you. There's an alternate head that also is pretty cool on this guy. Okay, so I've decapitated our skeleton. And I'm gonna grab one of these sugar skull prints. These are only available at larocks.com. That's L-A-R-O-C-K-S.com. And this is my artwork. So this is a Holly the Twister Sister print. And it's a sugar skull, which makes this a little bit cooler. You can place that on top of your skeleton. And there is the sugar skull print on the skeleton body. And so that's another kind of a fun thing to do with this guy. If you want to make it even a little bit more cool and unique looking, I can guarantee you very few other balloon twisters in your area are going to be giving out this. So this is really going to set you apart with your clients and get you a lot of bookings and people are going to be asking for your cards so that's what we want right so there you guys go hope you enjoyed this little tutorial please let me know what you think in the comments and i want to see pictures so put some pictures of you with your little skeleton buddies on facebook this week and i'm going to pick my favorite picture for a free prize which i will announce on next week's video okay all right, I'll see you guys over on Facebook. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and we'll see you next week. Bye.